Hello everyone, you are watching Blackboard. Welcome to Hematology Playlist. Have you heard about Philbotomy? The term Philbotomy is a combination of two words. Philbo means pertaining to blood vessel. Tomia means cutting off. So, the process of blood letting, blood drying and winning puncture is called Philbotomy. When you for blood testing at any place like hospitals, laboratories, collection center, definitely there should be a person with expertise for that task. That person is called phlebotomist. Duties a phlebotomist should perform. He'll collect blood and other specimens, prepare the specimens for testing, interact with patients and other healthcare professionals, other medical professionals including doctors, nurses, Medical assistant may also be trained to collect blood specimen. But for what purpose anybody withdraw blood? There are certain reasons. Like lab testing to remove extra RBCs from the blood. To treat certain blood disorders like leukemias, anemias, liver function problem. Safety comes first. So anybody should be very careful while collecting the blood samples in order to protect ourselves. So the standard precaution is to treat all the body fluid as if they were infectious, except tears and saliva. Oh, isn't it harmful to collect blood sample as we discuss it infectious? But wait, we have a solution. Here is a list of personal protective equipment we should wear at the time of sample collection and protect yourself. Gloves, masks, gowns and safety goggles list of materials and tools required for sample collection gloves alcohol or iodine to clean the area a tourniquet tube or retainers a tube holder needles tape and gauze pad you are not supposed to prick blindly at any side there are certain sides in body where veins are prominent and you have an easy access to them the first priority should be median cubital vein. But why? Because it causes less bruising. There are least number of nerves are present there. Oh, now I get it. Why median cubital? The second, the cephalic vein. And the third choice should be basalic vein. When a patient comes to you for multiple testing like CBC, RFT, LFT, PT, APTT, blood cultures and so on, the phlebotomist should have to follow this order flow in order to prevent the false results in test. First of all, you have to draw the blood in culture bottle. Then moving towards sodium citrate, red vial, gel vial, heparin tube, EDTA tube, and sodium fluoride. Vigitana is specific for some specific tests. The detail of these Vigitana will be discussed in my next video. Following steps should be followed for sample collection. Assemble the equipment. Wash hands preferably with soaps and then sanitize. Identify and prepare the patient for sample collection. Select the site. As we discuss it is median cubital. Apply tourniquet. Preferably four finger above the prick site. Ask the patient foam face. This will help to veins become prominent. Put on gloves in order to prevent prick and injury. Disinfect the site in circular motion. Anchor the vein and insert the needle. Release the tourney before withdrawing the needle. Apply clean gauze with gentle pressure. This will prevent from hematoma. Discard the used needles. Label the specimen. Discard sharps and contaminated material. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. If you like the video, subscribe my channel. Hit the like button. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.